every summer, every single year, I feel like I dress in more or less the same few outfits. I go through my wardrobe and I pick out the shorts and the swimwear, I dust them off, and I'm just as happy to see them again as last year. Are you the same? Could it be that summer is the least trend-sensitive season? Let's find out. Here are my five go-to summer outfits that I repeat wear year after year. First up, the naked back dress. The weather is finally warm enough for naked skin and maybe my favorite type of skin to show off is the naked back. I have not one, not two, but a bunch of dresses and tops with either cutouts or low back lines. You know what it is? I think it's the combination of sexiness and elegance. It's like you can look completely primly dressed from the front and then you turn around and it's like a cheeky surprise. With a backless dress, you don't make an entrance, you make an exit. I think this will never go out of style and it is totally safe to invest in if you want that go-to nighttime summer outfit that you'll never get bored with. What about daytime? The most cliche summer outfit has to be the white linen look. Loose floppy linen trousers, a huge menswear shirt buttoned low in the neckline with sleeves so long they more or less cover your hands. White looks so good on that summer tan, even though I myself, I'm such a pale girl, I get more pink than tan to be honest. And at the same time, linen is the coolest, breeziest type of fabric to cover your skin and protect you from burning. I know some people worry about linen creasing so much, but you know what I think when it comes to linen? I just find the creasing good looking because it gives that lazy in the sun, reading all day, cocktails at 4 p.m. type of vibe, especially if you had huge sunnies and a straw hat. God, I love this look, such a summer mood. For more holiday mood, go check out our home tour channel where David takes you to all these fantastic vacation homes and architectural gems for some epic holiday rental inspo. Link in the description. A big thank you to Vivaya for sponsoring me today. You guys know how much I love my whole little collection of Vivaya shoes. They are such a wardrobe staple. Each pair of Vivaya shoes are made from six plastic bottles and they are using a 3D printing technique that are then spun into an eco yarn, which is used to create the shoes. Most of the styles are also machine washable and the rest are all hand washable, so no need to worry about getting them dirty. They are also foldable for easy packing. I have three brand new pairs to show you and they are all the perfect summer footwear. I am myself going to be walking around in these both around London and the gorgeous Swedish countryside. The first pair are the jade sandals in a cream ivory color. I think the jades will be my go-to shoes for summer nights. I can just imagine walking around in these girls on the streets of some Greek island somewhere. Isn't that the dream? They have a 50mm heel with a rubber sole so that you have grip when walking around on them and the upper part is very very soft and made from a skin friendly yarn. I also got the Macy's in this rusty orange and you know what I've noticed? That this is so my colour scheme. Anything from light as the orange to deep warm copper, for some reason I always feel good in this shade. They also have such a classic look with this pointy toe shape so these will never go out of style. And listen to this, they have a deodorizing removable insole, so no more stinky barefoot feet. And finally, I got the Vanessa lace-up flats, also in the cream ivory color. I like that they're so simple, but still quite unique. They have this breathable hollow pattern to keep them cool all summer, even though they're not sandals. And regarding size, I am usually in between a European 38 and 39, and these are all in a perfect size 38.5. So, how would you like your own pair of Ivaya shoes? Whatever you fancy, I will leave some links below, so go take a look and why not get your very own eco-friendly, sustainable, vegan shoes this summer. Just click the link below and check out all the Vivaya's gorgeous footwear. And it's their second anniversary, so with my promo code JENNY15, you will get 15% on top of all anniversary promotions up to 33%. Now that is a good deal. Thank you so much to Vivaya and let's get back to the video. The swimwear style I never get tired of is the type of 90s simple sporty kind. High necked, one pieces, zippers and broad straps, solid colors that make you look healthy and like you're actually going for a proper swim. It's just something so clean and timeless about the 90s athletic style and it keeps feeling fresh and modern year after year. Plus, I mean, they're practical. You can actually go swim or play beach volleyball or move around without anything popping out or pinching you or making you feel that just a little bit uncomfortable in general. Showing ourselves in swimwear is already quite a stressful thing for a lot of us. At least we can choose swimwear that supports and flatters us, not making us even more iffy and self-conscious. Am I right? 
I only ever wear shorts in the hottest hot summer. I don't know why, short is not my favorite type of item, except the moment a heat wave happens and all of a sudden I get in shorts mode. For me, it's something so sailor-like about shorts that only really flies in hot, hot weather. My favorite way to style short is by going super short and showing off as much thigh as possible, but to not go tight. I like there to be a bit of room and volume, and I prefer to either style it with a super slim vest or with a super sized shirt to keep the look simple and clean and a little bit boyish. Oh, and I stay well away from denim shorts. I can't do it. I think it's just because I've lived through too many denim shorts in my life. It's like I've filled my quota. What about you? What's your favorite shorts look? Okay, this is a super trend and has been for a couple of years. The vest is not going anywhere. And I couldn't be happier because I feel like the vest and the camisole are two types of items that I always feel flat in my body. I have wide shoulders and long arms and tiny tits and for some reason I just think these features come off kind of great in vests and camisoles, especially without a bra. I love showing off my shoulders and my collarbones and low cut both in the back and in the front of my upper body I find super hot and sort of luxuriously sophisticated at once, especially when worn with loose fitting flowy summery trousers. What a good combo. If you could choose one part of your body to show off, which would it be? Back, legs, midriff, or cleavage? I think I have to go with back. Or maybe legs. No, definitely back. Which one of these looks is your favorite? Naked back, linen, sporty swimwear, shorts, or vests? Let's do a little vote off. Either way, whatever your go-to summer outfit is, I hope you enjoy yourself and feel gorgeous in your body and just, you know, let those flabby bits have some fun in the sun. I'm sure letting my flabby bits out after another year of too much time indoors. We deserve a proper summer this year, no? Do give me a little thumb if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel and to our home tour channel too. Thanks for watching this week, guys. I had fun. Puss puss and hey doo.